Hello, dear students. How are you today? My name is Daniela and I will be your teacher. Dobrodošli na zajedničko druženje na engleskom jeziku. Danas ćete imenovati životinje, pokazat ćete razumijevanje priče o planovima u budućnosti, postavljat ćete pitanja o budućnosti i odgovarati na njih. Pisat ćete i o vlastitim planovima za sljedeće ljeto. Pribor koje ćete danas trebati su vaša bilježnica iz engleskog jezika i pribor za pisanje. Molim vas, zapisujte sve što vidite danas tijekom lekcije i nemojte zaboraviti poslati vaše učiteljici to što ste zapisali. Today we will start with a story, Meet my pet. Listen very carefully what is the story about and answer the questions. What is her pet's name and why is it very easy to look after it? This is my pet. It's a snail. I don't know if it's a male or a female, but it doesn't matter. Its name is Coco, so let's pretend he's a male. I've always wanted a pet, but my parents have never bought one for me. The snails are very interesting and easy to look after. They sleep during the day, and they are active during the night. You know, I saved his life just a few days ago. Do you like the story? Do you like her pet? Her pet's name is Coco, and it's very easy to look after him because he sleeps during the day. Would you like to have a pet like Coco? Listen very carefully next part of the story, and after listening, answer. Who is Emily? And what is she going to do next summer? My name is Emily and I'm a student at Oxford University. I'm 22. Next summer I'm going to spend two months in Croatia. I'm going to work at a camp in Trogir. I'm going to teach dancing to young students there. I want to go to the Krka National Park and see the beautiful waterfalls. Of course, my pet snail is going with me. He likes it very much. After that, I'm going to stay with my friend La in Zagreb. We're going to travel across North Croatia. The snail is coming with us. At the end of our holiday, we're going to spend a couple days at the last place. We're going to read books and have a barbecue there. Are you going with us? Emily is a student from Oxford. She is going to spend two months in Croatia next summer. Do you like Emily and her pet? I like her. She's very unusual girl. Let's check the order of the story. Listen to the story once again and put the sentences in the right order. My name is Emily and I'm a student at Oxford University. I'm 22. Next summer I'm going to spend two months in Croatia. I'm going to work at a camp in Trogir. I'm going to teach dancing to young students there. I want to go to the Krka National Park and see the beautiful waterfalls. Of course, my pet snail is going with me. He likes it very much. After that, I'm going to stay with my friend La in Zagreb. We're going to travel across North Croatia. The snail is coming with us. At the end of our holiday, we're going to spend a couple days at La's place. We're going to read books and have a barbecue there. Are you going with us?
This is the right answer. Let's read the story together. Emily is a student at Oxford University. She's going to work at a camp in Trogir. She's going to work, visit Kirka National Park. She's going to stay with Lea in Zagreb. They are going to travel across North Croatia. They are going to read books and have a barbecue. More sentences. Your task is to say if these sentences are true. Read them and correct the false sentences. You can pause the video and copy them. As you can see, all of the sentences are negative. Some of them should be positive. Read, think and write. Take your time. Let's check your answers. Shall we read the answers together? Emily isn't going to spend two months in Croatia. That's false. Emily is going to spend two months in Croatia. She isn't going to teach dancing at Camp Trogir. That's false. She is going to teach dancing at Camp Trogir. She isn't going to visit Mjet. That's true. She isn't going to take her pet a snail with her. That's false. She is going to take her pet a snail with her. She isn't going to stay at last place. That's false. She is going to stay at last place. They aren't going to travel across Istria. That's true. And the last one, they aren't going to read books and have a barbecue. That's false. They are going to read books and have a barbecue. It's your turn. You have to make the sentences. Take your notebooks once again and write the sentences using the right form of going to. A sada je red na vama. Pročitajte predložke i pomoću njih napišite rečenice koristeći izraz going to. Like this. Emily is going to spend two months in Croatia. Shall we check your answers? Emily is going to spend two months in Croatia. Emily is not going to teach dancing in Zagreb. They are not going to travel by car. Is Emily going to take any photos? Are they going to visit North Croatia? Where are they going to stay? What are they going to do at last place? Is Emily going to take her pet with her? Now it's your turn. You have to copy those words into your notebooks. Take your time. Let's start with the words. Mouse Snake Duck Wolf Butterfly Spider Owl Fox Snail Bear I hope you have had enough time for coping the words. You are going to listen for another conversation. Listen very carefully because your task is to tick the word you hear in it. Emily and Lea are in the zoo. They are talking about pets. Lea, look, there's an owl over there. Oh yes, it's beautiful with these white feathers. Oh my god, but there is a spider on my shoulder. Don't panic, calm down, it's not going to bite you. Not to panic, I'm afraid of spiders. What am I going to do? If there was a butterfly on your shoulder, I would know what to do. But in this situation, I'm going to take my snail and go away. Hey, I need help. Well, I'm going to put my snail on your shoulder to keep company to your spider. What do you think about that idea? You're crazy, you know it, don't you? Which words have you ticked? The right answer is owl, spider, butterfly, and snail. What do you think about last problem? And the spider? What is she going to do? I don't know. Perhaps we will find out one day. But we have some situation here. As you can see, the girl's house is in a mess. What is she going to do? Look at the others. Are they in the mess too? Look at the photos. What is going to happen next? So, 
What is going to happen next? I think that the girl is going to clean the house. The man is going to sing a song. They're going to cook a dinner. Next activity. Imagine that your friend is planning to go somewhere next summer. Your task is to ask him some questions. Make questions using going to expression. There is the answer. Where are you going to stay? What are you going to do there? Are you going to watch any sport? Who are you going to be with? Are you going to take your pet with you? It's your turn. Answer the questions and say something about your summer plans. Tell me what you are going to do next summer. Write about your summer plans. Use the questions as help. Dakle, za kraj, redi na vama da mi kažete nešto o svojim planovima, te da to i napišete u vaše bilježnice. Što ćete vi raditi sljedeće ljeto? Za kraj današnjeg druženja lista procjene. Procijenite sami sebe koliko ste bili uspješni u praćenju današnjeg rada. Procijenite jeste li razumjeli govor koji ste slušali, znate li imenovati najmanje sedam životinja, znate li postaviti najmanje četiri pitanja o planovima za budućnost i znate li odgovoriti na ta pitanja. Nadam se da ste bili vrlo uspješni. Dear students, that's all for today. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you for your attention. You were great. See you next time. Bye.